What's the video about today then, mate? Uh, we are talking about Carrie Fisher's boobs. And good luck getting this one past the demonetization squad. <coughs> I believe in you, editor for this video. I'm not going to insult anybody watching this by trying to pretend that people don't know who Princess Leia is in this preamble, and instead just say that she ushered a generation of horny young boys and hornier young women into adulthood with her now iconic slave outfit. An outfit, it turns out, needs to be held in place by copious amounts of tape. It's just hard to believe that this outfit was in a kid's movie. Yeah, I, contrary to what you might see people posting on Twitter, like, you know, the angry very angry, sorry, let's clarify, like, you know, men. Like, Star Wars is a series that was ostensibly for children, yeah. hence why it basically does nothing but sell toys. Um, it is kind of hard to believe that Princess Leia, you know, a character, like, the only female character in, like, you know, the original trilogy with any, like, you know, scenes of note, yeah. ended up wearing an outfit more revealing than the one in the Star Wars porn parody. <laughs> so we should probably talk about that. And that's not me joking, by the way. I think that's actually true. I think that slave outfit is actually more revealing because there's a quote from, you know, the legend Carrie Fisher herself, where she's like, oh man, yeah, uh, anyone who stood behind me just got to see all the way downtown. Like, that <laughs> thing did not, like, except for the one specific angle they filmed it from, that shit did not cover up anything. And to cut a long story short about how this outfit came to be, the answer is George Lucas, because of course it was George Lucas. <laughs> and the story goes that Carrie Fisher actually wanted to wear a bra, like, you know, underneath that outfit, and George Lucas convinced her not to by saying, and I quote, there's no underwear in space. Which means that, canonically, nobody in Star Wars wears a bra or underwear, because apparently it doesn't exist. They invented laser swords and, like, you know, cybernetics that can help people, like, you know, walk around and function after being left burning to death on a pile of, like, lava. But no, underwear, no, no one thought of that. And that reminds me a lot of, like, early seasons of Friends, where none of the female characters like, just ever wore a bra. And it never became an issue, and you think it would, because it was like in America, and they tend to give a huge shit about that sort of thing. Yeah. And it's like, no, it was just like mainstream TV, just nipples everywhere. <laughs> just the pointiest nipples I've ever seen, just on TV. It's so weird. Because I remember like going back to Friends with like this rumor that she actually wore a bra, but cut a hole there <laughs> you went to back make to, them look bigger. You, and went, back to, you went back to check. <laughs> yeah. I think the one episode of Friends I went back to watch is when I saw a screenshot online of Central Perk where, a, as a joke, one of the set dressers put a potato underneath the cake thing. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's got to be fake. That's obviously, you know, no, I went back and watched the episode and I'm sure there'll be a clip of it after I finish talking. And there's just a fucking potato underneath the cake stand. <laughs> it's like, no one noticed that. Hey, Gunther, have you, uh, have you seen Chandler? I thought you were Chandler. <laughs> And that reminds me of something that happened with the show King of Queens. I'm not sure if you, have you watched that at all. No, no. Okay, well, you don't need to because it stars Kevin James. But it also stars Pat and Oswald in like, you know, a secondary role. And yeah. like 10 years after the series like, stopped being relevant, like, he admitted on Twitter, oh yeah, as a laugh for one episode, I just stood still and didn't move. <laughs> And you can show it, it's like, and he's just, the entire scene, he just doesn't move, he stands perfectly still. And nobody noticed for like 10 years. Okay. This one's from Danny. The stage, they start freaking out. You know, they start wondering, am I happy where I am? Is this all there is? Maybe that's what it was with the nipples. Maybe just no one noticed the nipples until it like, was on TV. And it was like, hang on a sec. When it's on Netflix, like, a decade later, what's going on here? Uh... I want to bring it back to Carrie Fisher's boobs, but I can't help just like... It's, it's so weird. You just like, can't get away from the boobs now. We're this in. is just everywhere. Well, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Right, Nisha, we're really sorry. <laughs> she just sat in the corners on her phone. I hope, well, you can, like, I hope just right now she's just looking at dick bulges. Because we deserve it. We so, <laughs> so, you know, let's talk about that. Best dick bulge in fiction. Let's even it out. I think we've think we talked about this before. I think we have. Doing a video about David Bowie. Because I was going to say yeah, David no. Bowie. No, we talked about it before. Oh, man. Oh god, we talk about too much penis on this channel. Let's move on to boobs. <coughs> People are going to start wondering. I spend all this time alone, Carl, in just a room with men talking about penises. What's going on? So Carrie Fisher didn't wear a bra at all then? Not during the original trilogy, no. Wow. Yes, and you might be thinking, well, that sounds uncomfortable. And it really, really was. And according to Carrie Fisher, like, while she was, like, you know, admittedly, she's like very young at the time, she was quite perky, like, those outfits did not leave a lot to the imagination, so she did need a little bit of help. And she said that help came in the form of a small amount of tape that would be used to either hold her breasts in place or position them correctly 
for like you know the fit of the outfit, right? Yeah. And the, the slave outfit being like you know the most pertinent today's conversation because that thing was like molded, and the only way to get it on and not like get the film like a PG fifteen <laughs> rating or whatever the fuck is by using tape to basically just like hold the girls in place, <laughs> just stop them from escaping, and just like you know it will. <laughs> So right now we know she wasn't wearing a bra. Yeah, we knew Carrie Fisher was like basically letting it all hang loose during the entirety of the original trilogy. And George Lucas knew because it was his idea. It was his idea, like creepy old man. <laughs> Do you know what we need to say as we say that? His face needs to get a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's creepy old man George Lucas like, no, Carrie, don't wear a bra. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll put this slave outfit on. It's empowering for little girls at home. So, oh God, George, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, I can't bear to watch. But did anyone else know this? Apparently the entire cast and crew, and Carrie Frischer, like, like, doesn't give a fuck, so <laughs> she didn't mind the crew knowing that she was, like, not wearing a bra. Yeah. But it annoyed her that they never let it go. And every single person on, like, the cast and the crew would, like, you know, bring it up at every possible opportunity. <laughs> oh and like, I think there's even a, like, a thing in one of the Star Wars movies where you can clearly see Harrison Ford, like, cup her breast oh, as he goes that. to help her. Yeah. It's the famous shot. And I think at the time, Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford were fucking and having an affair. Yeah. Yeah. Which led to one of my favourite tweets of all time, which is, I deeply respect that the last thing Carrie Fisher did before she died is said, I fucked 1980s Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, not about from the let go, but yeah, you can even... Han Solo himself couldn't resist, like, you know, grabbing a squeeze to check if she was wearing a bra <laughs> or not. Just test. It's that fucking hell. The thing is that that helps his character and it sells him as a scumbag. Yeah, it does actually. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, like, oh, this injured woman on the floor. Right? <laughs> so the article's about a photo of her breasts? Yes, and people are wondering, well, where did this come in? Well, as you can imagine, at the end of each day, like that boob tape she was wearing to you know, keep the girls like where they needed to be, needed to be removed. And it very quickly became the crew's favourite time of the day. I bet it did. And Carrie Fisher would like have to go into a back room and like tear it off and then throw it into a bin and like with like, you know, all the jeers and cheers you'd expect. And then one day, as a joke, she said, I will auction off like, you know, the tape removal for today as a joke, and but everyone on the crew took it way too seriously, and actual bets and stuff started to be made, people were like, like whooping and hollering and fighting each other to do that. Oh my God. And she was made a little uncomfortable by, you know, like just the horde of men scrambling to grab her tits. I'm like, <laughs> fine, if you all give such a huge shit about this, wait right here. And she walked into like, you know, an office yeah. nearby, removed the boob tape, removed her bra, like, or removed like the outfit she was wearing, pressed her breasts against a photocopier and just hit copy, and then handed <laughs> out copies to every member of the cast and crew who wanted one. Which is just such a Carrie Fisher move, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love Carrie Fisher so much. That's just so her. It's like, oh, you know what, guys? If you give that much of a shit, here, here are some breasts. Have a great day. <laughs> and you're probably thinking right, right now, Adam, well, I'm guessing a lot of people in the audience are, well, where are these photos today? Because they, as far as I'm aware, have never surfaced because I've researched this. Yeah. For my job. Yeah, yeah, job. And like, it's not known what the cast and crew did with their copies, but I'm guessing there must be at least one out there somewhere. But if you had a photocopy of Carrie Fisher's breast, the only one in existence, as far as you know, would you share that shit? I'm guessing like there's at least one guy who's got his like vacuum sealed, like a copy of like Amazing Fantasy Number no. One or something on Action Comics, and he's just behind like uh, bulletproof perspex, <laughs> like the Mona Lisa or some shit. Because it's like in the news the other day, like after we. Well, before we filmed this, it okay. turned out that someone had found like, lost footage of the Beatles in the bread bin. <laughs> like, they, and they just sold it for 10 dollars Do you think 10, that's what's gonna happen? Do you think like 10, 15 years down the line, they're gonna be clearing out like, so, like someone's gonna be clearing out their granddad's flat. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just gonna find like his hidden porn stash and hidden amongst it is just a photocopy of Carrie Fisher's breath. I hope she signed it as well, just for authenticity. Oh, she might have done, we don't know. Cause like the story is like one of those like legends that people don't think is true. I think Carrie Fisher has confirmed I did it. I don't give a fuck, I'm Kai Fisher. What are you gonna do? <laughs> fuck you. So we've spent about, what, 20 minutes talking about Carrie Fisher's breast and the fact she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. And like, I don't really want to continue doing that because it just makes me feel weird. 
Doesn't doesn't you? Just like people ask like, oh Cal, you talk about penises so much on the channel. It's because there's nothing funnier than a flaccid penis. Everyone can laugh at that. But when you start talking about boobs, it just makes you sound like a creep. Well, I do, especially since my girlfriend's just sat there <laughs> staring at me, yeah. <laughs> she just sat there staring like daggers through you. It's crazy. Yeah, so I'm very careful. So we need a random subject to get away from the breast. How about Star Wars? Because we could talk about... I'm wearing a t-shirt today. It's an old one. That's like not appeared on the channel in a while. Like, you know, you can go buy our merch store. And we were originally going to get... A, there was a t-shirt, like, drawn by a friend of the channel. Like, you know, one Eerie Knox, who's appeared in a couple of videos. Yeah. And that was t Pone's Layer, which is, I get, I, I would argue, one of our greatest ever bits. It and was that so is, good. Tea, like when Princess Leia in Last Jedi just T-Pose through the galaxy, Brad edited it so that she flies at light speed and destroys the Dreadnought. And our friend, like you want to say, maybe not, she drew a piece like, of artwork showing that, and it's going to be behind us right now, that um, when I uploaded to our Redbubble store, which you can go on and buy all kinds of fact theme merch that helps support the channel. I hate doing that. It's just, yeah. I couldn't even get the click on my thumb. <laughs> right? I uploaded that, and within a day, a day, I got a cease and desist letter from fucking Disney. I am not making this up, and that's why this T-shirt cannot be on the channel. Because if I try and re-upload it, I will get, like, you know, my entire Redbubble store banned for copyright infringement. And that, to me, just makes it even funnier. And I'm glad I paid 100 quid for it. But, yeah, uh, go not check out this t-shirt, but other ones we've got anyway. But fucking hell. God, do I feel weird talking about booze for this long. Nisha, are you okay? <laughs> it's so out of character for me. <laughs> I know, it's normally about the penis. I'm all about the dong, man. You gotta do it. Oh, but I'm all about that big floppy dong. It's, so, it's just so funny. There's nothing funnier. It's like, Joe, you know, fuck it. This video is gonna get demonetized, and it wasn't. It is now. So I'm gonna tell the story of the wide penis. Oh <laughs> yeah. We tell yep. the story, Adam, of the wide penis. Uh, a friend of mine. I won't like name any names because, um, like, you know, she's values of privacy, and this story is quite embarrassing. But uh, she was on Instagram one day, and she got sent while we were all at the uh, the pub having a drink together. Um, just a random dick pic, which I'm guessing is a story a lot of girls can relate to. But, like, this dick pic was just so bad. So I'm like, I, I'm a bloke. I'm like, I don't find that thing attractive. I looked at him like, that is an objectively terrible view. Like, but the, the guy was so proud of it. And the one thing we all noticed, like, he's got a very, very wide <laughs> penis. <laughs> like, and she even said, like, we were there, all in the pub, messaging this guy back, like, via committee of how to best <laughs> roast this guy's dick. We just she just sent back like, mate, uh, not to be, like, not to insult you, but it's a bit too wide. <laughs> <laughs> and he sent back, baby, it'll feel like nine inches long when it's in your bum hole. <laughs> oh come on! And she, we just like we absolutely lost it because like. What cause is this guy? He was obviously so proud of his oddly wide penis, but he made no effort whatsoever to present it in a good light. Because he was wearing like piss stained, like grey jogger bottoms or something in the thing, and the lighting was terrible. It's like, guys, if you're going to send a dick pic, like at least, like, you know, get some lighting done. Get a green screen. Your dick can be in space. Do you like those photos that um, girls take when they're on holiday of their knees and yeah, yeah. The, like, the hot dog legs? Yeah. yeah. That, why don't guys do that with dick pics? So like, oh, here I am, just like, you know, in space. Here's me on Mount Everest, <laughs> thinking of you. So like, come on, at least step it up a little bit. But, oh, man, that was just so funny. Just the story of the wide penis. <laughs> and apparently he got so fucking mad and just kept messaging her. And every single time, she's like, mate, I'm not interested. <laughs>